Hi everyone, welcome to Making Lemonade Overtime. I'm your host, Noah Rodriguez Hoffman. I'm here today with Super Bowl champion turned sommelier and entrepreneur, Will Blackman. After a successful NFL career, Will turned his focus to his longtime passion, wine. He launched the Wine MVP, a wine concierge business that offers services such as private wine buying, educational opportunities, wine travel, private events, and a monthly subscription box. In Will's words, the Wine MVP is an exclusive club without exclusive anyone. With the big game only three days away, I tapped into Wells' expertise to help me find the right wines to pair with two popular bowl game snacks. And you might be surprised by what he came up with. So you called me yesterday. You were like, get some fried chicken. I had like <laughs> Cheetos and stuff. Like I was like, wait, fried chicken? Where am I going to get fried chicken? <laughs> We have two sparkling wines here uh, today. We have the Bozo and then the Rotorua Estate. So one of them actually is champagne because champagne can only be called champagne if it's made in Champagne, France. It's actually in these cards that you send with each yes. one of your so, boxes. Yeah. So we kept the sports theme. Trading cards have the tasting notes. And these are my tasting notes, people, mine. I brought a champagne from the States but we can't call it champagne. It's a sparkling wine, but it's made in the champagne method. So in this case, I want champagne because when you win the Super Bowl, you want to pop bubbles. You want to, you know, spray the locker room up with champagne. One of my ultimate favorite pairings is fried chicken and champagne. That is like, that is like the ultimate New Year delight. And champagne, it gives off this bready, like yeasty and toasty type of uh, notes. And that goes well with like greasy food, like, like a fried chicken. Because the fried chicken, you get the same bready and what have you in that. So that's why I think it's awesome too. Same thing, popcorn, you have the buttery uh, flavor in there. So I thought these two will be super fun because yeah, people think like caviar, whatever. I was like, no dude, we fried chicken and champagne. That's the way it. to go. I I love it. Okay, so let me grab a glass. Oh my gosh, I need a glass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I was like thinking about it. I'm like, oh, I forgot. I got everything except for the glass. Wow, that's like Somalia 101. Have a glass. The cool thing about sparkling wine, this is so many different methods. But you have the traditional method, the tank method, transfer method, ancestral method. Continue. Like so many ways to make sparkling wine, right? But let's start with the boys over here, right? So. Make sure you always keep it at a 45 degree angle away from you and everyone else. Because <laughs> don't no, want to take somebody's eye out. <laughs> no, ser seriously, yeah. So, right, we're going to peel the top off. I'm so scared of these things. Okay, so don't, no, don't turn it. Don't turn it yet. Do not. You're just All going right. ahead. You're just so ready <laughs> to get going with this thing. My gosh. Keep, now keep your thumb on it. Do not look at you. Just jump in the gun. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> back, back. My gosh. <laughs> we want to keep the cage on. You want to okay. twist it. Keep in the gauge and be super careful. You don't want the pop sound. Okay, I'm just turning it. Make sure there's no pop. Look at your okay, face. Oh, I, I am like the worst at this. Ready, here you go. I'm gonna go first, I'll go first. Okay. <laughs> okay, well I at least it. I didn't spill it. I didn't spill it, I didn't spill it. <laughs> That's all right, you get another chance. So pour yourself a tiny bit. Okay. So yeah, when tasting champagne, we always judge like the mousse, right? You think of like hair how it froths, that's the, that's the mousse in champagne, the, the frothiness, so. Okay, I understood that. Mm. Cheers, I just jumped the guy, I even, I just totally just Look avoided it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long week. I'm gonna go fried chicken for this one. Okay. Oh. Mm. <laughs> I'm be in this room all day. <laughs> Oh, it's an interesting pairing. Like it doesn't feel off. Like I was like, what is that? I've never had this like pairing before, but it works. Anytime you get food with salt, it pretty much goes with anything. So salt is like a wine's best friend. Rotorua Estate is from the Lewis Rotorua family. This is the uh, sister estate in California. Okay, so do not remove the cage. Keep it in your left hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Full turns. Okay. okay. Now keep your thumb on it. Now just twist the bottle and you want to try to open it without making a pop. You okay. win the challenge if it does not go pop. Oh, pressure. Okay. Yeah, the pressure is going to make it pop. Exactly. <laughs> you know what? That's not bad. <laughs> that was not bad at all. All right. All yeah. right. Let's see if I can get two in a row. I always make that face too. I know. <laughs> 
Not bad, not bad. <laughs> not bad, that was perfect, Andrew, not bad. Cheers. Yes, cheers to you. Clink. And this is good, just popcorn. Mm-hmm. She's drunk already, gosh. <laughs> Two sips. I went back to the chicken. Yeah, the chicken kind of like gives it a little bit more like a balance. Like my popcorn is not heavily buttered, but when it is, that's where it would, it would go well. Champagne could be made with Chardonnay. It could be made with Pinot Noir and it could be made with Pinot Meunier. If you press the juice, it's pretty much clear. It's not gonna be pink. Got it. Or red. In traditional method, they gather a bunch of grapes. They actually put it in a, directly into a bottle. They put yeast and then they close it up with an actual like crown cap like a beer and then they let it you know age in there and let fermentation happen and then they put it on upside down and they freeze it that's where all the dead yeast cells go they pop it off okay. put a little more sugar in it close it up and it ferments where tank method they put it in a tank first and it does all that in a tank so like prosecco is that would be considered tank method what is your favorite wine we're drinking it <laughs> yeah when in doubt champagne for me well this has been so much fun Thank you for teaching me something new today. And I can't wait to see what's next for you in your journey with Wine MVP. Thank you. Sorry, I'm like, I'm, I'm so hungry. Still... <laughs> I'm like, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, thank you so much. I never thought I would find something after football that I'd be extremely passionate about. Yeah, I'm just thankful that I get to share this, the stuff that I'm passionate about. That's amazing. Thanks again for being on the show. Cheers, thank Cheers. you. Cheers. That's our show for today. If you haven't already, go watch Will's Making Lemonade interview about how he went from NFL player to sommelier and entrepreneur, only on MillionStories.com. Again, I'm your host, Noah Rodriguez-Hoffman. A million thanks for watching.